Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. And the name of today's podcast is The Sweetness of the Moment. I've actually been thinking about this parable that I know I've shared before, and it's about a man that's being chased by a tiger. And as the tiger is chasing him, his heart rate is going up. He's afraid that the tiger is going to catch him. And in front of him, he sees a cliff. And there's no other place to go, so he jumps off. And as he jumps off, he catches a vine. So all of a sudden, he feels a little relief as he looks above him that the tiger is still on the cliff and it can't reach him. But then as he's hanging from the vine, he looks beneath him. And on the ground, there's another tiger there waiting for him to fall. So a tiger above, a tiger below. And then all of a sudden, he hears some noise and there are mice that are chewing on the vine. And there he is. And then as he brings his head up, he sees hanging from a different vine, a strawberry. And it's beautiful and it's red. And he looks at it, he grabs it and he tastes it and it's juicy. And he says, ah, delicious. And the purpose of the story is to remind us that life often feels like that. We have all the stress and worry, worried about our money, worried about our job, worried about our kids. And it feels like there's danger all around, stress all around, anxiety all around. Things can't work out all around and it's all going to get us. But at the same time, these things that are bothering us aren't always happening in the moment. And sometimes the moment is offering us something so sweet and glorious. But we have to be able to reach it and taste it and be present enough to know what's delicious. And what's also interesting, over time, I realized that we don't know what's going to happen next. And that is where I put in the maybe practice, because for all we know, the tiger on the ground could run away, could find new prey. Doesn't mean he's going to stay there until the man falls off the vine. We don't know how far the mice are going to get eating the vine. And we don't know if the tiger on the mountaintop will say, we have no idea what's going to happen next. And that's another thing. One, there's the moment. And at the same time, these things that are bothering us, that are making us feel so desperate, that are making us feel despair and stress and worry, they can also change. Sure, they cannot work out, but maybe they can. And maybe you could still be okay. And maybe there's another possibility. So I love thinking about this story when there are things happening in life that we feel overburdened by, that we feel overwhelmed. And the reason I was thinking about this story is about my mom. And I know I've spoken about this on some prior podcasts that my mom got very sick a few months ago. She had blood clots and they were able to catch it in time. But then the other day she called me to let me know that they found a lump on her breast. Now she had breast cancer many years ago and they don't know what it is, but all of a sudden I felt this sensation again. I felt this feeling that of being chased like there the danger was again. And I remembered the story of the tiger and I remembered the strawberry and I remembered the maybe as I was driving out to see her with my daughter to have an enjoyable day. And I was very aware that this was a moment. We were going to have a great meal. They hadn't seen my younger daughter in a long time. And yet, even though we needed tests to be done, even though she might be sick, even though she can't walk as well, even though all these things, we were going out for lunch. And on top of that, life had maybe. So as we picked her up, I saw she was crying and she was so happy to see us. And we put her walker in the car. And I was thinking about, I'm with my daughter, I'm with my parents. This is the strawberry, this moment. I don't have to think about doctor's appointments. I don't have to think about anything but the strawberry. And life has maybe. For all I know, she's going to be fine. And for all I know, if she has a problem, she could be treated. I have no idea what's going to happen next. And then as I'm driving towards the restaurant, which is on the premises of where they live, I hear my dad say, make a turn, make a turn. And I was going straight. And the reason I was going straight is because I had driven that road so many times over the past couple of months. I was 
driving to the rehab facility by accident. And at the last minute, I made the turn. And then I thought to myself, back at a time when my mom was in rehab, she couldn't walk. She just got out of the hospital. We were not certain what was going to happen. I remember thinking to myself, my mom can only walk again and we can go for lunch at the Beaumont. And that's exactly what was happening. So not only was I present with the strawberry and not only was I in maybe, but I was filled with deep gratitude for the moment which I didn't know if we were going to have. And we ended up having a fabulous lunch because we were just all there and we laughed and we stayed for a couple of hours and it was just amazing. And I know when I hugged my mom goodbye, I felt her vulnerability. I felt some of her tears, but I knew we had had such a good time. I knew she had maybe, and I was so grateful. And I know I always say this. Sometimes it could be a cup of coffee or the sun on your face that is your strawberry. Sometimes you're going to see a friend. Sometimes there's going to be new opportunity. Sometimes you're just going to laugh. And that is where life is happening. And when you hit that presence, your heart opens up. When you hit that presence, the light comes in and you are your most powerful self, your most joyful self, and your most peaceful self. And the more you do this, the more ease comes to your life the more you enjoy things, but also the more you see things. Sometimes we're so busy running so fast from the things we don't like. We are not present enough to see the possibilities in front of us. So not only does that presence, even when there are things happening in your life that you don't like, that presence brings you joy. It brings you the strawberry, but it also brings you to a moment where you might see something new. You might have a creative thought. You might run into someone and think to ask them about a problem or a job. A solution might come. You might read something because you are present with life. And when you're present with life, you merge with life itself. And that's when things open up. That's when there's synchronicity. That's when our lives start to have the rhythm that we're really looking for. And when you remember the maybe, you realize that you have problems, but you recognize the fact you don't know how they're going to work out. Maybe is real because you can't know what's going to happen next. You cannot be absolute. Therefore, there are other possibilities than your biggest fear, your biggest worry, and your biggest stress. And then when you throw gratitude in, more negativity leaves because you recognize all that you have. And it's a place to start. It's a resource. And that moment when I almost went to the rehab center by accident, where my mom was so sick and things were so difficult, it just filled my heart with joy that I actually dreamt of a moment that I was about to have. And I bet there are many things in your life that you've dreamt of for a long time. A relationship, a job, a place in your career, a friendship, things you probably couldn't have even imagined when you were young, and here they are. But then you're worried about losing your clients. You're worried about not having enough money. You're worried about so many things you forget. You forget the wonderful things in your life. Always remember them. Always find that perspective. Sometimes we're demanding life be a certain way, and because it's not, we feel like we are being chased by tigers. But the truth is, life is often so much better than we think. The moment is always offering us something if we're willing to be present. And because the future is unknown, there is an unlimited playing field for us to still dream, to still hope, and to remember that maybe the best is yet to come. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to buy my books, The Gift of Maybe or Year Without Men, they're available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you'd like to listen to the audiobook for The Gift of Maybe, 
It's available on all major audio platforms. And if you like this podcast, I hope you subscribe and leave a comment.